one is a complete maxillary arch because this one is a palate. So it contains all the deciduous teeth. So this arch is divided into two halves, into two equal halves. So the maxillary arch is divided into two quadrants. This one is the mandibular arch, deciduous arch, all the, de the deciduous teeth are present. So similarly, this arch is also divided into two halves from the midline. So it is divided into two equal halves. This side is the right mandibular quadrant and this side is the left mandibular quadrant. In the maxillary arch we have in the maxillary arch in the right quadrant we have two incisors. This one is the maxillary central and this one is the maxillary lateral incisor. So we will write incisor for the incisors we will write I and in the maxillary arch we have two incisors so we will write I2. Similarly, in the mandibular arch in the right quadrant, we have two incisors in each quadrant. This one is the first incisor or the central and this one is the second incisor or the lateral incisor. So, below this two, we will write another two and this indicate mandibular, central and lateral incisor in the right quadrant. Next to the central incisor in the maxillary arch we have we have canine. So this tooth is the maxillary canine. So for the canine we will write C. For the canine we will write C. And in the maxillary quadrant we have one canine in each quadrant. So we will write one and write. so in the mandibular arch we have in, in the right quadrant we have this canine you know this is a pointed tooth so this one is a canine. So we have canine we have one canine in the right mandibular quadrant so below this line we will write one. Now next to the canine we have molars so in the maxillary arch in the right maxillary quadrant this quadrant we have this one is the first maxillary molar of the right side and this one is the second maxillary molar so we have two molars in the right quadrant so we will write m for molar and we have m for molar so we have written m and in the maxillary quadrant we have two and now we will see the mandibular quadrant. So in the mandibular quadrant we have first molar because this was the canine. First molar and this one is the second molar. So in the mandibular arch we have two molars. So two. Now the total number of teeth in the right on the right side, the maxillary right quadrant and the mandibular right quadrant, the total number of teeth will be 10 will be 10 so on each side on this side on the right side on this side 1 2 3 4 5 and 1 2 3 4 5 so the total number of teeth on the right side are 10 now sometimes uh, the dental formula is written like this multiply by 2 is equals to 20 so this is also correct it means that they have included the quadrants of the other side as well it means they have included the quadrants of the left side as well it means they have included the quadrants of this side as well so they have multiplied it it by two thank you very much for watching